to the elements. There's very little of the island left now, uh, but you can still see it on Morani Strand. And finally, Inner Newport Bay. Uh, there are 20 islands greater than two acres in Inner Newport Bay. And uh, there are also 17 smaller islands and named rocks. Again, population-wise, uh, there were 184 people on those islands, not as accessible as the Middle Islands. 20 years later, 90% of those people had disappeared. Uh, only 17 people remained and three islands were inhabited. And according to the last census, only Rosbarna uh, is inhabited with one person. It could be that there are two people on Rosbarna. Uh, there certainly were in 2005 when the uh, residents um, took it upon themselves to build a causeway across to the mainland. It is accessible at low tide. And uh, however, they, as the Mayo News put it, uh, incurred the wrath of God with the council and the, the residents by not asking for permission to do so. And they were actually uh, forced to take away the, um, the causeway that they had constructed. However, somebody st still does live on Inish Barnes today, but it is the only island in the Inner Newport Bay uh, that is inhabited. Uh, just a note on, on uh, uh, Inishu also, it was owned by uh, Sir Samuel O'Malley. Um, and Sir Samuel O'Malley uh, owned many of the islands in Clue Bay, including Clare Island, prior to the famine. And uh, he got into difficulties as a result of the famine and was forced to give up the islands to what was called the Irish Life Assurance Company including Clare. Uh, it was probably a British-run company at the time. So just a few of the features of Inner Newport Bay. Uh, Fregulon Lugga, uh, the island of the Heather Hollow, has, is the island with the longest name in the bay. Although there is a group of rocks, which I'll attempt to pronounce, the Corrigana Galliadu rocks, uh, 28 <laughs> meters. Uh, they're just north of the Rossmore Peninsula. Inishquil, of course, is known uh, for, as a resting place for the harbour seals, as is Ilan Scraw, or Scratchin as it's called. At low tide, you can see dozens of the seals uh, in that particular area of the bay. Uh, these seals are um, quite prevalent in Clue Bay. They're not a species that's under threat. Uh, there are about a half a million of them in the world uh, today, but Clue Bay is, is certainly an attractive place for them. Inish Daf uh, has a ruined church and a graveyard that is still possibly in use. It certainly has been in use until quite recently. Uh, the origins of the church, I know Austin Clark has asked me about this, we're not entirely sure. Uh, it's an ancient church, but certainly the famines were uh, victims that were uh, evicted from that island. Uh, the families still go back there to use it as a burial place. And of course, the uh, most famous island in Inner Newport, or most famous <coughs> landmark in Inner Newport Bay, would be Carrickahowley or Rockfleet Castle off the Roy Peninsula, the home of Grainne Ale. Uh, so, Martin, I don't know if you wanted to maybe need yeah. to take a little break. Yeah, uh, we have uh, we've done our panel with us tonight, our own Westport Port Laureate, uh, Paddy Guthrie, and uh, Paddy, some well, quite a few years ago, composed a beautiful piece about Crow Patrick, and uh, I invite Paddy to go on stage now and share it with you.